This doesn't look like a pedicure customer. And this isn't what normally comes out of your toenails. But this isn't your standard pedicure. It's just the beginning process of changing a horse's shoes. And it's more than just a hobby. It's a career that requires schooling and talent just like any other profession. And for farrier John Weiler, it started with his passion for horses. I had an, uh, an affinity for horses. Um, the shoers had to have an affinity for horses. They had to be able to work with the horses. Uh, you basically have to get the horse to stand still and accept you handling it and, and uh, it has to trust you. And then there was the, uh, an artistic side where I noticed that the, the shoers were, you know, forming the shoes and trimming the feet and I just had an intuition of what they were doing a lot of times uh, when people watch me work. Uh, they don't seem to realize how involved it can be. From start to finish, it can take Weiler anywhere between 45 minutes to an hour to put new shoes on a horse. And it's not like going to your area sneaker outlet for a new pair of Reeboks. Weiler must remove the old shoe and clip the nails all the way through to molding the new shoe and securing it. And the benefit of shoes on horses is very similar to that in humans. If we um, use the horses more than their hooves can compensate for, then we put shoes on to protect the horse's hoof. Um, it's just uh, a matter of practicality. In this material world, money is what drives most people to pick their careers. But for John and other farriers out there, the love of the job is what wakes them up in the morning. And at the end of the day, satisfaction is what really matters. Sean Gallagher, Philadelphia Neighborhoods, Northeast.